Oh boy, it is beautiful out here, but it is nice and crisp. I've been, I've been riding for about a year now. And for me, it takes a long time to get out of my comfort zone to go from one step to the next. When I first started riding, it took me a long time to get out of my neighborhood. And instead I was just practicing stops and starts and turns and U-turns and just all the low speed skills that I possibly could. And that's great. I mean, I, I probably wouldn't have sped that process up if I could have. I think this is where I turn. I hope it's open. I hope it's open. It is open. So here we go. Oh, geez, look at that tree. So beautiful and red. I want to say it's a red maple. I love this. People always ask me, since I grew up in Florida and Colorado, if I like the beach or the mountains more. I never really had an answer because both places always felt like home to me. But I'll tell you one thing, I absolutely love the mountains and the trees in the fall. And then in the winter is probably when I would go to Florida and sit on the beach while everyone else is bundled up in their coats. <laughs> but I digress. I do digress a lot. And of course, through the magic of editing, it seems like I have one cohesive thought at a time. Maybe I'll just shut up and enjoy the ride. Ah, oh, this is so beautiful. I'm actually here so I can find a place to pull over and get a picture. Uh, let's try here. Okay, just don't fall over. That would be a bummer. Oh, I love this. All right, and we're off. Okay, as I was saying, I might just include my ramblings in this video. And if you don't like it, tell me. I can keep editing my videos the way I normally do to where I look like I know what I'm talking about. But for better or worse, my ramblings are who I am. And of course, I'm easily distracted by all of the scenery. Oh, look, zip line. Oh, wow, I haven't seen that before. Is that zip line? I want to say yes, but I can't look that closely to confirm. But anyway, the thought that I had earlier before I kind of got off on a, a tangent of distraction was I take a long time to get out of my comfort zone and learning how to ride a bike is no different. I would practice my low speed skills and of course that's vitally important. I probably kept practicing them and didn't push myself as soon as I could have or maybe even should have. I think that's why it's taken me a little bit longer to try new things. And so what I'm trying to do now is push myself even more out of my comfort zone a little bit sooner. Not to the point where it's dangerous, but to where I feel challenged and not like I'm bored. And to be honest, I'm kind of reaching that point where I'm starting to feel a little bored because I have a few really good routes that I like to go on. They're super scenic, they're a little bit twisty, not a lot of traffic, not a lot of stoplights, nice rural countryside, it's wonderful. The problem is, I go on those routes all the time. And eventually, as, as happens with routine, it starts to feel routine and starting to get a little boring. I don't wanna say boring, that's a strong word. Riding a motorcycle certainly is not boring, but I think I need to do something else to push myself outside of my comfort zone a little more. And there, there's a list of things that I need to do, so I'm sure that, so if you have suggestions on what to try next, let me know. But I'm sure that some of those things that you suggest are on my list <laughs> and I should just go ahead and go for it. One of those things is definitely do a group ride. I think I'm at the point where I'm ready. I've, I've been hesitant so long just because I've been still struggling with um, trying to be more comfortable with new terrain. And of course, if I'm on a group ride, then it's going to be a lot of new terrain, new people, new riding styles, new terrain, new areas that I probably wouldn't have thought to go before. So that makes me a little nervous. I definitely need to do it though. I'm thinking about going to my local bike shop and I'm gonna see if they do group rides. I've been trying to find some online. There are those serious group rides like Babes Ride Out, Tail of the Dragon, Sturgis. Those I'm definitely not ready for. I think local group rides would be a good place to start. Another thing that I have on my list is to take another class. I wanna take one class a year, so that way I can keep up on my skills 
I took Basic Rider 1, I want to take Basic Rider 2, and then keep working my way up. And another thing on my list that I'm tackling today, I hope, is to use all of the modes on this bike. So right now I'm riding in standard mode. And when I went from rain mode to standard mode for the first time, it was fantastic. It was like having a whole new bike. It was so exciting. So I can only imagine what sport mode is going to be, how, how different it's going to be from standard. I've been hesitant to engage in sport mode just because I've heard that it's a little twitchy. As a beginner, twitchy is a bad word. <laughs> so I've, I've really been trying to build up my skills and build up my courage, honestly, to get to that point. And I think I'm there. So we are going to go to a nice safe parking lot to pop it into sport mode and then take it for a spin. Let's rip it. Yeah, I feel like I might be getting a little complacent, so it is time to push myself to the next level. I will say that something that has kept me interested in riding and continuing to push myself is moto vlogging. Because with vlogging, I'm focusing on making content, focusing on my thoughts, getting them out there. And it's, it makes it more interesting because I have a topic, I have a purpose for each ride. But being able to get my thoughts out there has made moto vlogging, it's added a, a new dimension to writing. It makes it interesting. Going on scenic rides also makes things more interesting. All right, I think I'm done rambling enough in this video. Have you ever felt like you were kind of in a rut? or that your rides started to lose some of that, that vigor, that energy and excitement that you had for them before. How did you reinvigorate yourself? What did you do? What's your story? And again, if you have suggestions, let me know and I will add them to my list. All right, with that, stay safe and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace out.